So if you're somebody who's been really dying to get into some F.A. Hayek for a while, but you don't seem to get around to it, but you're not sure which work you should start with, you've heard different things from different people about where's the best place to start, I have a somewhat unconventional answer to this question. I know uh, The Road to Serfdom is one of his most famous ones. That's the one a lot of people will tell you to start with, and I think it's one of his earliest works, so it kind of has that going for it. Um, and that's a fascinating book. You know, it, The Road to Serfdom is really about sort of why um, liberalism is really worth defending in light of the events of the late uh, 19th and 20th century particularly the rise of fascism. This is where Hayek makes sort of his argument about how um, kind of right-wing Tory socialism on one hand and kind of left-wing radical socialisms on the other hand sort of end up um, achieving the same kind of anti-liberal ends. And that's kind of just part and parcel of his idea of what is sort of like the uh, philosophical road to serfdom and why um, liberalism can be a, a valid antidote uh, to that. Um, and then, of course, there's Constitution of Liberty, which is sort of his masterwork. That's the big, thick tome that goes very deep into everything in terms of what is kind of, what is the constitution of liberty, what, what constitutes liberty, um, where he entirely sort of spells out his his philosophical views on liberty and their intellectual foundation and how that applies to specific issues like uh, education, like uh, unionism, and all of that good stuff. So yes, both excellent works, but interestingly enough, one that I might recommend starting with is a book called A Fatal Conceit, and that was one of the last works he wrote in his life. And comparatively, it's a little bit shorter of a book but for how short it is it's actually impressively comprehensive in terms of how much of intellectual history it engages how much of the history of political economy it gets into in a relatively interesting and insightful way but that was actually one of the things Hayek was most famous for is you know, even people who didn't necessarily agree with all of his conclusions, who didn't see eye to eye with him that much uh, philosophically, really, really respected his erudition, his understanding of um, intellectual history, his just breadth of reading was absolutely incredible. And A Fatal Conceit is just an excellent example of that. That's kind of where you see him at, at top gear in that sense. Um, so yeah, if you're like an intellectual history nerd, you love getting into, you know, ancients and antiquity and kind of your early church fathers through 19th century political thinking, this is definitely the, it's definitely the work for you. And he gets into some of the more interesting questions, like why is it that, um, so Hayek is very, very critical of socialism. He's he's interested in this question of why is it that like intelligent people are far more likely to embrace socialism and the more intelligent they are the um, more likely they are to embrace socialism and um, people you know downright geniuses like uh, Albert Einstein were extremely enamored with these um, extremely radical socialist views and he's really interested in exploring kind of uh, why that is why you see that correlation and has some really fascinating answers for those kind of questions but yeah it's an excellent book you know it's um, much lighter read than the Constitution of Liberty but it, it's the kind of book that even if you don't take any notes while you're reading it you'll probably remember a lot it's uh, it, it's that compelling there's a lot in there that really sticks with you and once you've seen it you can't quite unsee it so yeah that's my two cents. If you're looking to read some Hayek and you're not sure which work to start with, highly recommend A Fatal Conceit.